I'm Karina Gonzalez and I'm Riley Fonseca. Today is Thursday, September 5th. Let's get started with your morning announcements. Did you know that as little as three teaspoons of blood can save a baby's life? Well, you have the chance to donate. Our fall blood drive will be on September 16th. To donate, you need to be at least 16 years old and weigh at least 110 pounds. You also cannot have gotten any tattoos within the last year. Athletes participating in fall sports should not donate at this time. Sign-ups start today at lunch, but you, you must bring your signed consent form to the blood drive table. If you have any questions, contact Nina Stroud or Trevor Brasscamp. The Elk Grove Unified School District College Fair will be held at Pleasant Grove High School on Wednesday, September 25th from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. All A-plus all students starting second term, you need to come to Mr. Garcia's room, A106, to pick up graded summer work. Remember, you'll be quizzed on this material on the first day of term two. Everyone who signed up for Poly Club, don't forget there is a short meeting after school. This meeting is mandatory. Um, and if you cannot make it to this meeting, let me know by the end of the day. For all of you who signed up for Latino Club, there will be a lead meeting today after school in Miss Lobby's room HL5. Speaking of clubs, let's take a flashback to Club Rush. to join MSA because we have falafels, we learn about Islam, we have a good time. If you're Latino, Hispanic, or just want to learn more about our culture, or if you like tacos, come join LEAD. We'll do a lot of fun fundraisers, projects, uh, big multicultural fairs. It's going to be a lot of fun. Come out to GSA. It's on Tuesdays from 3.30 to 4.30 in Miss Raisin's Real. This is Clean Scene Club. Um, what we do is we promote, we promote awareness about drugs and alcohol. Um, you're you're going to be a role model around this school. You've got to encourage other people to not do drugs and not do alcohol. And you're going to get a really positive reputation at CO, and it's super good for college. Our first meeting is on September 16th in Mrs. Betancourt's classroom. Everybody go. We're a fourth wall club. We're the technical theater club here at Consumus Oaks. Um, we do lighting sets and sound design. Uh, we do sound, lights on all of our theater shows here at Consumus Oaks. It's 3.30 to 5.30 Monday through Thursday. So come join. Well, Anime Club is all about, really, a group of people, and all we do is that we watch anime after school on Fridays. Now let's check in with Layla and Hannah for your news announcements. I'm Layla Blakely. And I'm Hannah Tompkins. Let's jump right into today's news. A man from Cleveland Heights, Ohio auctioned a vintage Spider-Man comic book he bought in 1963 to pay for part of his daughter's wedding. The price of the wedding had weighed on Richard S., who remembered he had a box of comics stashed away. So he auctioned his amazing Spider-Man number one and netted $7,000. Not bad for the 12 cent investment he made in paying for it when he was 19. Even packed away in a dusty box, Spider-Man still managed to come to the rescue. A few months ago, Sarah Darling passed 55-year-old Billy Harris at his usual spot and dropped change into his cup. But unknown to her, she accidentally dropped in her engagement ring. Though Harris considered selling the $4,000 ring, he decided he couldn't go through with it. And a few days later, he returned it to Darling. As a way to say thank you, Darling and her husband, Bill, started a fund to raise money for Harris to help him get his life back on track. The fund raised far more than any of them expected. In just three months, people donated more than $190,000. As of now, Harris has talked to a lawyer, a lawyer who has helped him put the money in a trust. He's been able to buy a car and has even put money down on a house, which he's fixing up himself. Just remember, good deeds can bring good rewards. Nearly 35 years ago, actor Leo Grillo thought he could get people to stop dumping dogs and cats in the forests and deserts of Southern California. He discovered quickly that that wasn't going to happen. There seems to be no end to the number of animals he finds discarded on the side of the road. It sucks the life out of me. It's very, very painful, he said. Grillo promised every unwanted animal that crossed his path that he would keep it safe and do all he could to keep it happy and healthy for life. He set up Delta, dedication and everlasting love to animals, 
rescue to keep that promise, and today, with 1,500 dogs, cats, and horses, it is the largest no-kill, care-for-life sanctuary in the nation for abandoned pets. Well, that's all the news we have for you today. I'm Layla Blakely. And I'm Hannah Tompkins. Back to you, anchors. Powderpuff forms are now available outside of the leadership room. Make sure to turn them in by September 9th. Our men's soccer team will be playing Pleasant Grove High School today at home. JV starts at 5 and varsity at 6.30. Be sure to come out and support. Just a friendly reminder that if you have any announcements you would like to air on Wolfpack TV, please send them to Mr. Mason on School Loop. The freshman tailgate is tomorrow right after school outside the stadium. Freshmen will be treated to hot dogs and games, then will be let into the football game to watch the JV team play sack high. Just a reminder, the Poly Club meeting is in the dance room right after school. Well, that's all we have for you today. I'm Karina Gonzalez. And I'm Riley Fonseca. Remember, the strength of the wolf is the pack. And the strength of the pack is the wolf. Have, have a, a wonderful, wonderful day. day.